And thieves stealing your money. Tonight, the NBC2 investigators reveal the high-tech secrets only credit card thieves know. We'll also show you the best way to protect yourself. It fits inside the palm of your hand, and with one swipe, it can wipe out your bank account. Tonight, an NBC2 investigation uncovers the real scam behind skimming. It is a growing crime in southwest Florida, and the tool that makes it possible is legal and readily available. Tonight, NBC2 investigator Paul Legrone exposes how skimmers are sold and marketed for the sole purpose of ripping you off. Paul? Skimming crimes are popping up more and more across southwest Florida, and the hotbed of activity seems to be in Collier County. Two major busts there in the past two months. Tonight, we discover why skimming is so easy, why the state is virtually powerless against stopping it, and why you exactly what you exactly will see when your card is skipped. When you're dining out, chances are you're not cashing out. More people are now either charging their meals or paying with a debit card. But your next swipe could be your last. All you have to do is just pass it through. It's called a skimmer, a pocket-sized fraud factory that thieves use to steal not only your money, but also your identity. And it's happening in southwest Florida. Two times in two months, Collier County authorities have busted major skimming scams. One at the Brio Tuscan Grill at Waterside Shops, the other at this ATM at the Wachovia Bank on Park Shore Drive. Once the cards are skimmed, all a crook has to do is hook the skimmer up to a computer, and it's an instant payday. This is my debit card slash credit card. Using the scanning equipment at the Collier County Economics Crime Unit, we were able to show you exactly what a skimmer would see. And it'll appear right there. There's your account number, and it'll have your routing numbers. It's got your name that's supposed to appear on the card. The same is true for driver's licenses. We swipe mine, and all the info on the license, including the license number, pops up. I've seen cases where driver's licenses would actually have credit card information because somebody had gone behind them and, and erased the data on the driver's license and then encoded somebody's credit card information on But the most surprising thing we found is how easy it is to buy skimmers. Type the word in a search engine, and dozens of sites come up, including this one, which unabashedly advertises how to skim credit cards. It even sells blank cards and an embossing machine to make them look real. Other sites sell skimmers ranging from $300 to over $600. We found the exact skimmer used in the Collier County restaurant scam and a new coin size skimmer. Too small for anyone at a restaurant to notice. The fact that they're available and people can convert them for illegitimate purposes is what's frustrating. Frustrating, but not illegal. We told State Senator Bert Saunders what we found. He says the state can't do anything about it. Uh, whether we can prohibit someone from obtaining those types of uh, piece of equipment is, is very doubtful. When you start talking about the Internet and stopping these folks, this, this could be um, an entity that is in South America. And how do you regulate that entity here in Florida? You cannot. But what you can do is know this. There aren't any alarm bells that go off and say your card is being skimmed. Carol Peck owns a financial advising firm in Bonita Springs. She has the inside scoop on everything from complicated scams. Trouble? The customer leaves first and then um, the identity thief. To cruder versions of skimming. And it's a trapping device that is actually inserted inside of an ATM. Peck says the best way to protect yourself is go online and check your account daily. Your credit can be stolen um, at an ATM, it can be stolen online, it can be stolen um, anytime you make a purchase. And waiting until you get your bank statement gives a skimmer plenty of time to swipe your bank account clean. We also skimmed these hotel key cards to see if any personal information is stored on them. Nothing came up. While Senator Saunders says it's hard to regulate the websites that sell these skimmers, he says the best way the state can find skimming crimes is through the Attorney General's office.